the Schumann is not really a piece that's been recorded very much, has it? It's been recorded a few times, but it's not even been performed that much either. And we wanted to shine light on something that we both believe is a great piece of music. Absolutely. It's an extraordinary piece of music and very unfairly neglected, partially because of its history. It came from a very difficult time in Schumann's life when he, he was very close to trying to kill himself and ended up in a mental asylum for the last few years of his life. And the music has that eerie quality that truly reflects that very fragile, hurting state of mind. Joachim, Hungarian violinist, and Schumann's wife, Clara, were worried that people would think he was it would display his madness to the world. And so I think it was hidden for the majority of the 19th century. That's right. And then revived in the 20th century by Yehudi Menuhin, mm -hmm. who described it as the historically missing link of the violin literature. So how special is it for us to be able to record that missing link? I mean, it's incredibly virtuosic, but it's also so deeply felt of the concerto as well. My, my favourite quote about um, the concerto Schumann said himself about the second movement, he said, it's like a nightingale singing themselves to death, and it's so poignantly beautiful. If you can completely imagine it, it's, it feels vulnerable. It feels incredibly pleading. You have this um, yearning line in the cello, which is completely syncopated against what uh, the solo violin and the orchestra are doing. And that creates a sense of anxiety um, that just really reflects what was on Schumann's mind. But the rest, it's just bliss. You know, it's like he knows he's going to a better place, a happier, more peaceful place. But that cello line is just struggling to let go. It's incredibly painfully and painfully beautiful music.